<laughs> Christian Dielman and his partner have been living in this top floor apartment in Munich for a year now. Both have quickly grown accustomed to their home smart setup. Energy management is easy and they don't have to lift a finger. They've both decided it's too warm. So Christian tells Alexa, the computer, to turn the temperature in the living room down by two degrees Celsius. It's that simple. Heating and air conditioning are regulated via speech recognition software or by using the app. Christian developed the app himself. It has many other energy saving features. For example, it can also open windows or roll down the blinds. We've designed an intelligent thermostat that connects to an app on your smartphone via the Internet. The app automatically lets the climate control system know when the last person leaves the house, and that puts it into low power mode. When no one's home, the temperature drops, and that saves energy. The developers say the app could save people up to a third of their energy costs every year. Called Tardo, the system reacts when owner and smartphone move more than 400 meters away from the house. And the reverse happens when the owner comes home. Tardo has been on the market for two years. 130 developers in Munich work on the software and devices. They're built in a factory in Hungary. Customers can switch out their old thermostats for the new system all by themselves. This starter package costs 200 euros. According to the company, the investment pays off after a single year thanks to the energy savings. Now, Tardo is looking to branch out. Our approach is to look at where interest is coming from throughout the world. What people are interested in using these kinds of products to save energy? Of course, in Africa there's a lot of interest, especially with air conditioning units. And there's a huge market in Asia, too. Smart home technology isn't just for startups. Bigger firms like Energy are also driving development. The company is part of RWE, the second largest energy provider in Germany. Right now, the radiator is set to 25 degrees. When you open the door or a window, the radiator turns down. So it won't continue to heat while the window's open. The Energy app isn't just about temperature control. The user can also control lighting in the house or open and close windows and blinds. That saves even more energy. We give the customer the control they want, whether in terms of heating, cooling, saving energy or lighting. And they can explore other topics on their own, too. It's a little like a modern electric train set. There are all of these new things and aspects that can be added on. The system can also be connected to motion sensors, for example. It only turns up the heating or air conditioning when they detect someone at home. So far, smart home systems have only been installed in around 1% of German households. But Energy is organising regular meetings with experts, companies and developers to brainstorm about how to attract new customers and markets. In Africa, the problems will probably lie elsewhere, maybe in the area of security or managing alternative energy sources or implementing solar energy sensibly. So you have to tailor the technology to different circumstances and needs. There's certainly no lack of new ideas for smart home technology. And it will soon be much more common. But sometimes, it's nice to leave the perfectly controlled climate of the smart home behind. Yeah. <laughs>